Welcome to another Tinto Talks video, another Project Caesar video, another EU5 video. Um, I have this map up for a very specific reason, but we'll get back to it in just a moment. Now, were you around in the Paradox Sphere about four or five years ago? Uh, because I was. I was making videos about Imperator Rome, about its uh, pre-launch, about its post-launch, the dev diaries, uh, all the news around it. Sort of like what I am doing here with Project Caesar. And one of the things that I very much remember uh, Johan starting to do was getting community feedback. This here is a video that I made four years ago based on uh, the tweet here that you can see uh, by Johan, where he's asking the community about monarch points, about mana, about people's you know thoughts and feelings around this uh, mechanic. This here is the origin of the death of mana, and, you know, the anniversary, the fifth year anniversary is, is coming up relatively soon, so maybe we should have a, a bit of a celebration on the 25th of May. But this here is basically what's happening now. This is the start of it. Johan is asking for community feedback on mechanics of a game that he's making. Um, with Imperata, unfortunately, it came slightly too late. It came after the game was already in the pipeline, in the release, post-release. Um, and I will 100% say that uh, Johan's efforts on, you know, fixing here the mana specifically was a complete success, right? Um, the game did objectively become so much better because of these changes. It just unfortunately came uh, after the damage was already dealt. So that's why we're getting these Tinto Talks now, is because we're trying to avoid a Imperator Rome situation. We're trying to get ahead of uh, any potential issues that might occur. And so far, for me at least, there hasn't been any issues. But uh, to bring you back to this image, and if you've been watching my previous Tinto Talks videos, you'll know that I edited this message. This image was originally saying, you know, Byzantium here instead of Eastern Roman Empire, made by Ponyuri Wojtek. Um, and it's a great map, and thank you for making it, but, you know, I, I gotta change it. And I know that Johan watches my videos, and I, I feel like he may have taken my comments to heart, which I do believe in what I'm saying. I do honestly, truly believe that several names are better than Byzantium for this state. And, well, today he dropped this poll asking people, what did you call them before that Tuesday? Uh, because, you know, the city of Constantinople fell on a Tuesday. Though if you Google the exact date, you will see it. It's a Sunday, but uh, they were using the different calendar system back then. Um, and while most people are saying Byzantine, uh, it's close enough that we're actually getting something that, me personally, I've wanted. Because cause it's going to be a game rule. <laughs> we're just... We're just straight up gonna get the option. We're gonna get the choice. We could call it Eastern Roman Empire if we so desire. And I, for one, am exceptionally happy about this. Uh, there are other names that I prefer over Eastern Roman Empire. Uh, Roman Empire, for one, is, is just better. Um, Basilea Roman is probably my favorite. Uh, though if you need to stay with an anglicized naming system for all countries, uh, I my, my top pick would be Empire of the Romans, which is what uh, Mayon Taxes uh, ended up going with. But the fact that we get the option now is just so amazing. Um, Saint Dave, you are an saint. Um, and we have a look here. Uh, what Byzantium name do you want? Maybe, maybe this this should be Roman name, and then you can choose Byzantium as uh, an option if you sort of whatever. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna poke holes in in this gift. Uh, the Greek country. I mean, I feel like I feel like there's a little bit of a poke here. The Greek country centered around Byzantion, which has not been a city for several centuries, over a millennia at this point. Centered around Byzantion will be known as the Eastern Roman Empire. 
even though they're about 1,000 Roman miles from the city of Rome. Like, there, there is certainly, like, they're poking here. They're certainly poking. Uh, but, I mean, the fact is that I'm right, so it, I don't really care. <laughs> uh, I'm getting what I want, so have all the fun you want. I'm sure this will probably be changed um, by the time it comes out. But we uh, we do get some gleanings from this. We already uh, were aware that they were considering doing some uh, optional game rules like this. Um, and if this does turn out to still be um, a thing when the game releases and we do get to choose the name uh, for the Roman Empire, um, I do hope that they add a couple more options like Basilia Romaean, like Empire of the Romans. Those I would very much appreciate also being added. If this is simply just a game rule, I can't see it being too difficult to add a couple of extra options in here. Uh, you've thrown us a bone. Can I have can I have a whole carcass now? Maybe pretty please. Uh, but also, yeah, they they spoke Greek. They considered themselves Roman though. Like the the concept of uh, Greek nationalism uh, just wasn't a thing in this period. These people did consider themselves Roman, not Greek. Uh, it that's just that's just a fact. Um, and. The city of Byzantium hadn't existed for a millennia. It was Constantinople. Uh, actually, I need to look up when the name was changed, but I'm certain it was a very long time. Um, and the fact that they are a thousand miles away from Rome is completely irrelevant. Uh, neither language nor the occupation of the city of Rome is what determined what is or is not a Roman Empire. Uh, so, either way, this is just, you know, they're just having poking a little bit of fun, and I, I don't care. I'm happy. I hope you guys are happy. Uh, but this does raise a question. What else do you think should have naming options in the pre-game options? Uh, would you like to see, for example, the Ottoman Empire have very uh, different names? Uh, Divlieti Rum, uh, I think they only took that after they took Constantinople, but that's a, an option. Um, uh, Empire of Osman, Ottoman Empire, Ottomans, um, all of these different options uh, could be available. I think there is a Turk that said some Sublime State or Divlieti e Alia, I think that is like empire in city. I, I don't, I don't speak Turkish, so I can't really fucking say. But these are very much things that I am uh, curious about your thoughts on. So please do leave them in the comment section below. Uh, maybe hit the sub button if you want to keep up to date with all the Project Caesar Tinto Talks EU5 news. Uh, and until next time. Um, which I have no idea when this is going to be a next time, because I was expecting not to make another Tinto Talks video until Wednesday, but here I am, it's Friday, and I'm making one very late in the day. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.